Candidly speaking, how are you? I should have did a show. Or I should have done a show last night after the award show. But I was too beat. And I was really, really tired. And I wanted to really have my energy up for the show. So um, we're just going to cut to the chase. Um, the little pre-show that they had um, with the Diggy song. Copy and paste it. Copy words and paste me. Something like that. Um, that's cool, you know, digging all, but I think you'd probably be better maybe with like a Nickelodeon kind of audience. You know, just, I don't know, being around more kids kind of, you know, versus just jumping into this grown awards show with that copy and paste song. But good luck to you, you know, if it works out for you, you know, with subliminal messaging and things like that. And, you know, repeated, you know, uh, plays on the radio. Perhaps one can be convinced to like the song. Um, the Racks on Racks performance... Uh, in the little pre-show, it was a little boring, although I like the song, but it did get hot when Nelly came out there, and I'm not a real big Nelly fan, but the crowd uh, really, really got excited when he came out. Mary J. Blige, she doesn't really do it for me anymore, not like since the 411 uh, CD. Um, she doesn't have kids, so her staying the same shape and still having that Clydesdale walk about her, you know. Whatever. Um, she just didn't do anything. It seemed like that was a time to go smoke a cigarette, roll a blunt, you know, um, go make a phone call, go to the bathroom, take a dump. Take your time. Um, I just think here. I'm not a married... She just doesn't do it for me. She doesn't do it for me. I'm sorry. Um, and then when she performed with Anita Baker. Um, I love Anita Baker. I've always loved Anita Baker. Um, her navel was poking out of her dress. Um, I did see that. It was like kind of hard, her navel. Um, poking through uh, the the black dress and it looked like at the end that they were gonna kiss I didn't really understand that but um I don't know that part was a little boring Kevin Hart he was an awesome host I really I uh, hope that he gets to host again although I like Mike Epps and whoever else did it Steve Harvey or whatever but I just I really like Kevin Hart his little self he's really really funny um his whole husband's Housewife husband kind of reality show was super fucking funny. I totally loved that. Bobby Brown, Nick Cannon, excuse me, Anthony Anderson. I loved it. I really did. I thought that was uh, pretty ingenious. I, I, I think they did a good job. Um, and then while he was talking about different people in the audience, you know, Puff Daddy, you know, you know, getting rid of those childish like uh, names. And um, while he was talking about Trey Songz taking off his shirt. You know how Trey Songz, he said, resembled a greyhound uh, when you take up a shirt. But he should have been getting on Snoop. You know, Snoop looks horrible with his shirt off. And I hate seeing him with his shirt off. It's like kind of watching two men kiss or a man's penis going to another man's asshole. It was like, uh, should I look at this? And it was just wrong. It was wrong. So I hate to see Snoop with his shirt off versus Trey songs and for some reason people don't really Joan Snoop out I don't know how connected he is um, but if I ever had that opportunity I would definitely talk about his disgusting um, almost make me want to vomit uh, body that he has it's horrible it's horrible um, Ace Hood he did a really good job um, a lot of energy stage presence the crowd and the audience stood up the heads were bobbing I mean just the energy that, that they felt um, when Ace Hood took the stage was incredible um, I did have a problem with Rick Ross's titties flopping everywhere they were they were just flopping everywhere they kind of looked like mine um, but, but I breastfed so I don't really understand why his had to look like he breastfed as well but Rick Ross you know he's he always does a great job um, always um, with titties still flopping about he, he killed it um, and I had tears in my eyes when Jada Pinkett and Will Smith, you know, their kids won, you know, the awards and stuff. I just thought that was so freaking awesome because I, like, envy their marriage, you know. I really do. I really wish I could be cool with uh, watching my man fuck someone else. I guess I am cool with that if I can just be the videographer while they fuck and maybe director, like, give them directions and stuff. But I don't want to fuck another guy. I just don't. So, um, I don't know, maybe threesomes or something, two girls and my boyfriend or something. I don't know. I just envy them. 
the, the just the comfort level in the relationship they seem to be really good friends and their kids they seem to be so proud of them and Will Smith looked like he was going to cry and they looked so anxious to see like what their kids were going to say when they were accepting the award that was just so cute that was just oh man that was just beautiful to me it really was and I just like uh, Willow Smith 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 um, individuality as well as their son they're just different and um, their parents allowed him to express that and I just I love it I, I, that was just beautiful to me um Oh, yeah, and then you see them, like, dancing in the audience, Will and Jada's kids. They were, like, rocking that shit, weren't they? They was really jamming, and they was fresh to death. I think the son, is his name Jaden or whatever? I think he had, like, an ostrich Gucci jacket or something. I know I saw ostrich. Um, but anyway, Jill Scott, she looked fucking gorgeous in that red dress. You cannot go wrong with red. Um, you never can go wrong with red. Somehow men are just have this attraction to red but it really looked good on her it really did she looked hot that fucking Idris Jesus I, I I mean good God he is just I don't know what to say about him that man is freaking gorgeous do y'all understand me I, I'm for real Idris 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 how do you say it damn that motherfucker's fine he's absolutely beautiful for real he's just in fucking stain um I really wanted um B.O.B. to win something, but that never really panned out. He's really talented. Um, I was glad to see Bruno Mars. I didn't really understand Alicia Keys. I didn't understand why she was there. Did she have a new album out that I wasn't aware of? I'm not really sure, but her hair was a little razzled and dazzled. Uh, looked like it could have been uh, combed a little bit. Perhaps that was the messy look she was going for. I don't really know why she was there this year. Um... But Bruno Mars, I was I was really glad to see him. Although from a certain view or from a side view that the camera caught him, he kind of looked like Howard the Duck. If you remember Howard the Duck, yeah. So he just looked like him a little bit. Um, Wiz Khalifa, he he brought Amber Rose. He brought Amber Rose and Kanye West wasn't even there to accept his award. He couldn't even make the awards. And I'm wondering, Kanye, is this because Wiz is with Amber Rose? So, I don't know. When I saw Amber Rose at the gay club um, in Atlanta, she looked humongous. And she had on this black cat suit. And she really looked like at least a size 16. And I don't know. Maybe. And that was in person. So, maybe her weight kind of fluctuates. I don't know. I don't know. But kudos to you, whatever, Amber Rose. Trey Songs, he really improved vocally while he was on stage. But he still has some work to do. He just doesn't quite move me vocally live you know and then when he speaks about all these love songs and making love faces and I do like this song unusual you know but um he just doesn't seem like he knows what he's doing in the bedroom he's way too young uh to know as much as he think he does um that's just my take on it um Tracy Ellis Ross um and what's his name Malcolm Jamal Warner which is Theo from you know the Cosby's he was Theo Huxtable, and if I'm not mistaken, he's openly gay. Yeah, out of the closet gay, and they have this new series or sitcom coming on where they're this married couple, happily married couple. Um, I just don't understand that because I, I have a CD with him on the cover barefoot playing a guitar, and nothing about that uh, says masculine to me or, or that I like women. So, um... I don't know. I don't know. He's just gay. So I just don't understand how this whole thing is going to pan out. Uh, when uh... So, um, Johnny Gill, he looked really good, didn't he? Wow. Johnny Gill looked awesome. Do you remember when Johnny Gill came out and he was talking about his album coming out? Well, he really looked good. <sighs> Alexander O'Neill. Sherelle. Sherelle looked good. But I remember seeing them on Unsung on BET and, um... And he was talking about his crack or coke addiction. He totally hit the stage geeked up. He must have just hit some crack. His mouth was doing like the Bobby Brown thing. And he was not even saying the words. He wasn't even saying the words. He was acting like he was at a backyard barbecue. And all he kept saying was baby. Baby. Yes, baby. Oh, baby. He wasn't singing the words Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. He was not singing the words with Sherelle. And, and to me, she was looking at him like, damn. Damn, I told you don't. Don't get high. I thought you said you weren't going to get high. Here you are high. Come on. And uh, 
I'm sure she was disappointed, but he was so geeked up, it wasn't even funny. And then his teeth uh, weren't in his mouth, or... <sighs> Too bad. You, you used to be the shit, Alexander O'Neill, but you know, drugs is a motherfucker, so kind of fucked you up there. I, I don't know even why BT put you on there like that. They, they, they should have did some kind of test run, you know, before they put you out there like that, because uh, they embarrassed you and you embarrassed yourself. And... Um, Kelly, Kelly Rowland, ripped that shit. Her little petite ass, rocked that shit, Kelly. You did, you did. And um, when they were kind of interviewing her after the show, I didn't realize her teeth protruded out so much, kind of horse-like. She's still pretty, like a pretty pony, but uh, she is, she's still pretty. But the way this comes out, um, but she did, a, she did an awesome job. Um, oh, CeeLo, CeeLo, when he did his little tribute thing to Patti LaBelle, uh, I true enough I cuss but I think I would know sometimes when not to cuss and I think if I was doing some kind of tribute to Patti LaBelle I don't think I would have used cuss words in my singing and when he he did that I think that kind of threw her off um, I, I thought it was a little disrespectful um, and BET with this fucking trickery you, you guys say that Beyonce was performing at the end of the night and it's almost fucking midnight the show comes on at 8 that's 4 hours this is like two movies we've just watched with commercials and all and you're gonna put on Beyonce via satellite in fucking London are you fucking kidding me what kind of hoax is this what what kind of games are you guys playing why did you set us up for that I mean I wanted to see her I wanted to see where her lace front stopped and started I wanted to see the glue wrinkle up on her forehead you know she's clumsy uh, perhaps she would have fallen I wanted to see her trip or something I wanted to see the audience reaction to her um I don't know. You guys really fucked us up with that Beyonce shit at the end. But other than that, I thought the show was, you know, pretty alright. Some people didn't like it. Kevin Hart really made all the difference in the world. And, um, yeah. I had a good time watching it. I really did. Um, but I guess I just wanted to share that with you guys. And don't forget, I'm going to be doing the Car and Bike Show. So, the Car and Bike Show is going to be at the Congress Center. The World, Co the World Congress Center in Atlanta. So, that's July... 16th so I hope to see you guys there maybe you can run up to me I think I'm gonna be giving away something I'm not sure if it's gonna be money or what but I'm gonna have something I'm gonna give away um yeah because you can't beat that um well I think I'm gonna go now I've been talking for 12 minutes um thanks for watching and look up nut down and broaden your fucking horizons bye